and welcome back to the hay meadow my name's Hayley and this is my channel where I talk about all sorts of sewing uh, related topics um, I do unboxings of fabric and sewing notions I'll look at patterns um, I'll show you my makes um, and that's the good stuff and the bad stuff and there's been some shockers but today I'm here to talk about a challenge that's happening during November, which no doubt you've heard about because November's nearly over. It is the So Wrapped Challenge, which is a challenge brought to us by Kristen from the Dahlia Society and also from Gabrielle from the Cloth Edit. Now, the challenge is to make a wrapped garment during the month of November. Well, it's actually not November. It's from um, October the 29th until November the 27th, which is just around the corner. So I'm only just getting in by the skin of my teeth, but I'm here and I'm telling you all about it. Now, what am I wearing? Funny you should ask. I'm actually wearing a wrap top. Now, this is not a me made. This is actually from Audi. I know. Who would have thunk it? But it's in a really nice viscose. It's actually a really nice top. Um, some of you may have bought it when it was on, on um, special, one of the specials. Uh, I think it was last year, actually. Um, but it's a traditional wrap. So underneath, there's a button and the strap, the internal strap comes out of a little hole here, wraps around the back, um, and then there's the crossover. So there's a button on the inside which secures it. So if the wrap does come open, you're not you're not quite as exposed. It's got a um, little popper here, um, and then it just wraps up here. But it's a little peplumy type, um, and I quite like it. It's got a bit of a fluted sleeve. Um, yeah, so I quite like it. I like it so much that um, I'm probably going to replicate it. And I'll talk to you more about that in a moment. So as I said, the So Wrapped Challenge is an Instagram challenge. So you can pop over there. By now, there are absolutely heaps and heaps and heaps of other um, people who have put their makes up. Um, and no doubt, as I said earlier, you've probably seen plenty of other people talking about this challenge. Now, there are heaps of prizes. Um, both Kristen and Gabrielle are um, hosting the challenge, as I said, and they're also the major sponsors. So they've got some great prizes that they're giving away. Um, and then a whole a plethora of um, pattern companies have actually gotten on board and it's not just one pattern here and there there are three up to four patterns um, one company is actually even giving away a sewing course which is just amazing anyway you might hear a bit of a Russell Russell is still with me because I even put some notes together now what am I going to talk about? So what I thought I would do is I actually went through my existing patterns. Rather than go off hunting around for new, I thought I already have a whole bunch of wrapped patterns because I happen to like a wrap. I like a wrap top, I like a wrap dress, I like a wrap skirt. So I thought why go hunting when I already have? So what do I have? Well, I thought I'd go and have a look and see what categories I could actually tick a wrap off in. And uh, turns out I've got a few categories. So if I start with the t-shirt, I have the Ellie and Mac Petal Top, which is a um, stretch uh, t-shirt. Um, fabulous size range, as Ellie and Mac tends to have. Uh, has four sleeve lengths. Actually, I should probably just shimmy over a little bit so that I can put some pictures here. Continuing on. Now, four sleeve lengths, as I said, so it's sleeveless, short sleeve, a three quarter sleeve, and also a long sleeve. So that suits every season. Um, and it's also maternity friendly. So you can see that there's got the wrap, the crossover top. Um, so, you know, either side, 
You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so what did I have next? What next category could I look at? Long sleeve slash jumpers. So I had a look and I, I've got a number of long sleeve um like t-shirt types and jumpers but what i did or i do have is the itch to stitch camo top now that is a really really lovely top um again itch to stitch great size range um that one is a knit fabric also and that's a light to medium weight jersey knit um with a 20 to 30 percent horizontal stretch and also good recovery you want good recovery with that one so you're looking at jersey knit a sweater knit um even french terry so that's a really good one and that's um a faux wrap on not only the front but the back so you know it's that something a little bit different which is it's one of the things i really like about sewing your own clothes is you're not restricted to what's on the racks in the shop if you like a specific type of detail go for it um actually one no don't go down that road <clears throat> don't get sidetracked now i didn't mention all of the sponsors because there are so many of them but one that one in particular is fiber mood now we all love fiber mood they have great patterns many of them most of them are free um one of the ones that i have in my stash in my pattern stash is the fiber mood vienna dress so the vienna is a faux wrap with an elastic waist um it's a woven dress so this is the first of the wovens that i'm going to talk about again you're looking at a really nice broad size range um so it's inclusive um we are looking for fluid um woven fabric with the vienna dress the the faux wrap and where the skirt wrap they actually go in the same direction so if you were using a, a striped fabric and you'll see that the picture actually shows this really well um it creates a really cool effect um using a striped fabric so again something different now if we're looking at a traditional wrap i actually quite like the sew over at ravello dress now this is from the summer dreaming ebook and i really love the summer it's probably my favorite um, of the sew over at ebooks i've got all bar one of them this again so so over it have um in the last couple of years increased their size range so they've now got a really large size size range and the ravello is uh, another woven pattern this is a traditional wrap dress um it's quite a straight dress so it's not uh, it's not an a-line it's just quite a straight dress traditional wrap with the ties um, with a grown-on sleeve if you've been here before you know that i'm partial to a grown-on sleeve bias bound neckline and also around the hem finishes um, it's got a gentle curved hemline a lot like this top actually um, there are four lengths so the pattern gives you a maxi dress a knee length dress it then gives you a peplum top and a cropped version a cropped top now i already have the peplum version printed out and ready to go to replicate this dress for summer to, for this top sorry this isn't a dress i've just shown you that it's not a dress to replicate this top for the summertime with the uh, grown on sleeve so that's already um partially ready to go i do have to choose a fabric for that one so that's what i'm going to use to replicate this so as i said so over it i really enjoy that um summer dreaming ebook and that wrap dress um and tops just lovely and classy very um elegant lines to them just simple and that's one thing that i really like in my clothes is just simple but with a really um 
you know, a bit of style to them. So whether it's the cut, a small detail, it's those small things that I really enjoy. So what's next? What's next on my list of um, things that I found in my pattern stash? Pajamas. The Love Notions Tranquil Nightwear Set, to be exact. Now, this is so cute. I really like this whole set. So again, Love Notions, well-known, awesome size range. This is a faux wrap. So this has got a really nice crossover detail um, on the pyjamas. So on the neckline and then on the sleeves and also the um, legs. So you've got the option of long or short sleeves. You've got the option of a nighty um, and also pants. So you've got long pants for the winter or the cooler months and short shorts for, not short shorts, but shorts for um, the summer months. And each of them has the really cute little wrapped style um, of finished. So it's just like a little crossover um, detail, which as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a, it's a wrap type. So anyway, I love those. They are a knit. Um, so again, you're looking for that light to medium weight jersey knits, rayon spandex, modal jersey, bamboo cotton jersey. I'm actually considering making these PJs for summer out of my recent Beyond the Pink Door jersey that I got because that is gorgeous. And I think with so you can do like a piping detail i reckon that would just look so nice um in that in that particular fabric uh so you got the binding trim which is what i've just talked about um they're also maternity friendly tick in another box you know i'm just thinking of everybody i'm just out here South Australia, thinking of everybody around the world and what they might need in their wrap garments. It's a public service. Okay, so what have I actually made that's wrapped, you ask? Well, I made a skirt. It was one of the first, I say that about everything, don't I? It was one of the first, it was one of the first skirts I made. Um, and I made the, wait for it, sew over it, Summer Dreaming ebook, Alba skirt. Now I really love this skirt. It's um, it can be quite um, simple, and it can also have a lovely little frill around the the hem. So I made it in just the plain, and I made it in an absolutely gorgeous fabric from. I think I got the fabric from Sew to Grow. Um, if that's not correct, I'll. I'll put a little message up to say where I got it from. It's a traditional wrap with the ties and the little um, hole for it to come through. Um, and yeah, lovely. I've worn that. I, I usually wear that with a little, um, what's the fabric called? A double gauze tank top that I made. They look great together. So I really enjoy that. So I've actually made that one and can highly recommend. Again, the Sew Over It ebook. Great. Um, summer Dreaming ebook. Now, I also made, oh, I should have brought that in. I'll take some photos. Um, I made a dress for my sister and for myself using the Fabric Store Emily dress. Now, this one worked out much, much better. Um, I made mine in a lovely um, linen. So it was like a stone colored linen with a, we'll say bottle green, pinstripe through it, vertical pinstripe. Beautiful, absolutely lovely and suited the pattern beautifully. It's a traditional wrap with a hook and eye closure um, on both the inside and the outside. So there's no strap. It's just the hook and eye closures. Um, it's got a really nice A-line finish to it and princess seams. It worked a treat. 
Now, this was another one of those patterns where I realised, well, I think the, the, the bell was really starting to ring loudly about the length um, measurements and that I really needed to start taking notice of what those were and accommodating for them. Because I'm short-waisted, as I've mentioned before, I ended up, this ended up with the waist being just, it wasn't sitting right. It was too low for me. So uh, my sister tried it on. It was a little big for her. However, then one of my aunts, hi, Suzanne, um, tried it on and she liked it. It fitted beautifully. It looked wonderful. So I gave it to her. I hope you're wearing it. I hope you're enjoying it. But when I got my sister to try that on, although it was too big for her, she loved it. So then put her order in for one. So we went off to Spotlight and bought some gorgeous teal um, linen. I think it was a linen cotton blend even with white polka dots. And she wore that to Christmas, I, not last year, but the year before. Um, and I was really proud to hear her saying, oh, Hayley made it for me. So it looked great. She looked fabulous in it. And she has bought it around and I will put it on my mannequin. Maybe it might fit. I might have to adjust the mannequin um, and, and show that one because that turned out really, really lovely. So good, in fact, that I used the Fabric Store Emily dress pattern to make myself a robe. Now, this robe is beautiful. It's The fabric is, again, from Spotlight, and it's a gorgeous um, linen. I think, it's a, I think it's another linen cotton blend, and it's got... Um, the fabric is in, like, a bluey turquoise background with the most beautiful... Um, I would say Japanese type themed print with the stalk or I think they're stalks um, and the stylized artwork um, throughout and I just fell in love. The minute I saw it, I had to have the fabric. I had no idea what I was making with it, but I had to have the fabric. Then I decided I would make um, a robe in it. So I used that and also um, a navy linen for the um, detail. And I popped some pockets on it as well. So, so they're the wrapped things that I've made. And they're the wrapped patterns that I have in my pattern stash. So if you haven't made anything for so wrapped yet... Um, I don't even know if I'm going to get time to get a garment made up for so wrapped. I'm a little busy at the moment. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get anything made yet, some of those patterns, actually some of those patterns are really quick. So t-shirts are really quick. So I could probably, I might be able to do one this weekend. Who knows? Um, hopefully you may have seen something that inspires you to get on board with the so wrapped challenge. Uh, and you can get your um, garment up on Instagram before the 27th of November. Um, and that the, the challenge actually finishes at noon uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time here in Australia on, the, on Sunday, the 27th of November. So again, it's the challenge is being run by Kristen from the Dahlia society and gabrielle from cloth edit um the hashtag is hashtag so wrapped pop over there are so many prizes honestly the yeah the amount of um interest that they've had is just fabulous so that's it hopefully i can get this up before the 27th terrible terrible i will have a future video explaining why um i've not had as many videos up and why this one took so long and and whatnot so a bit of excitement to come anyway that's it from me today good luck if you enter the challenge i look forward to seeing your makes um on there Good luck to everyone and congratulations to all those winners. I'm sure you'll be absolutely stoked with your prizes. 
Have a great week. Bye.